welcome back to my channel. It is Iantha at Iantha TV. And as by the title, you know that today I'm going to be discussing with you what I just recently picked up from my TJ Maxx haul. TJ Maxx is like so dangerous for people who have no self-control and discipline when it comes to shopping. I would literally go in there saying that I'm just browsing or go in there for like one thing and then I will come out with a whole bunch of different stuff that I didn't even know I need. So that is what happened in my haul yesterday and I'm just going to share with you guys a couple things. And then I also want to talk about some of the entertainment gossip um, that's circling all around the socials and... For example, the Tory Lanez and the Megan Thee Stallion. So I'm going to dip a little bit into that to, in this video as well. So to start off this haul, I got the Yankee Candle White Pumpkin and Pine Cone Candle. Now, Yankee Candles are my favorite candle aside from Bath & Body Works, but Yankee Candles are just so expensive. But at TJ Maxx, they're $12.99 and they're regularly... I think like $27.99. Um, but this is, like I said, the white pumpkin and pine cone. And my favorite time of year is the fall and um, winter season just because of the scent, like the pumpkins, the white chocolate, caramel, the hot cocoa. And this is like the perfect scent. Um, it gives you that, yes, white pumpkin and that pine cone. It's like the perfect blend between the two. This can knock out like food smell if you just want to freshen up your home, but still have that, you know, I'm in the holiday spirit, fall season type of vibe going on. This is like the perfect candle for that. Like I said, this was $12.99 and this is 22 ounces. All right. What's next up? Next up is this body scrub by deluxe skin it's called the coffee buff let me do a close-up in there that was the back let me show you the front Alrighty. so this has salt sugar coffee arabica seed powder and yes this smells just like coffee like a nice hmm, how can i describe it just like a nice caramel salted coffee, if that makes any sense, you know? And matter of fact, I have some coffee here right now. So I'll be sipping on that while we sip on this entertainment gossip tea in just a minute. But that is the pumpkin extra, extra sweet medium iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. It is so bomb. I think it's like three bucks or something like that. So you should check it out. So yes, I, I like to um, do exfoliation on my body before and after I shave. Um, and I also like to do like a nice little salt scrub on my feet um, in the shower every other day. Make sure I'm getting all that dead skin off the back of my heel, making sure that my feet are nice and smooth. Like I'm one of those people that do not like dry and rusty feet. So I'm very young. I want to make sure that I'm preserving my feet and having them looking their best at all times. And I do get pedicures on the regular, but I think my feet are in great condition just from the at-home care. So I'm very big on that. Okay, so next up we have this perfume. TJ Maxx, and I just recently found this out the other day, sell designer perfume. Like I'm talking Juicy Couture, I'm talking Burberry. Um, I saw the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. And the Juicy Couture perfume, it was like three ounces and it was $19.99. The Burberry was 3.4 fluid ounces, which is a regular full size bottle of perfume. And that was $39.99. So now that I know that I can go to TJ Maxx and get designer perfume for cheap, that's where I get my perfume from. So I've kind of been a little bit of a perfume hoarder, I guess you can say. So yesterday I picked up the Pink Bomb, and this is by Floravana. I tossed the box away, so I think the manufacturer is the name is Floravana. Now the bottle, first of all, is just so beautiful. It sits so well on my perfume tray, but the smell is what really grabbed my attention. I mean, this really sits into the skin and into your clothing. Like you would literally have to wash it off. Um, and the smell is like, initially when I thought of pink, pink bomb, I thought it was going to be like this nice sweet floral type of smell. But this has a bit of like a, like a spice. Like a, it's like a, a nice powdery 
warm spice to it, but it's a fragrance that, you know, people will notice is on you and it will compliment you and ask you where you got it from. So I'm sorry, I can't really describe the scent, but it's just like its own unique scent. So that's Pink Bomb. Now with TJ Maxx, you know, I can't guarantee that when you walk into your local TJ Maxx, you're going to find it. it's just one of them stores where you're just lucky, whatever you, you know, go in there and you find it's really one of those type of uh, stores. Next, I picked up this Urban Therapy Twisted Sista Salon Inspired Hair Care from London. It is a straightening, blow drying cream. The reason why I picked this up is I like to consolidate and condense the amount of products that I use on my wash day. So I was in need of a leave in conditioner and then I was going to use a heat protectant. And I'm like, you know what? I didn't know they even really made blow dry creams that protect against heat damage. So this is like my leave in conditioner and my heat protectant in one, which saves me about two or three products here. So this has avocado oil, coconut oil, sweet almond oil. And I did look up the reviews and the reviews are pretty great. Um, it says it shields hair from heat up to 450 degrees and it prevents frizz with the help of coconut, avocado, and almond oils. And I definitely can smell those in this product. This doesn't smell like... Ugh, the smell is so soft. It's like I'm getting almond and coconut. Like I, It's a very nice, soft smell. So this is great. And this was 7.5 fluid ounces and I paid $5.99 for this. And I'm sorry I didn't mention the prices on the other, um, some of the other products. This perfume I paid $12.99 for. And I paid $5.99 for this body scrub. And as I did mention, I paid $12.99 for the um, candle. Now, I really went into TJ Maxx for this and ended up getting all the other stuff that I previously mentioned, but this is a body oil. This is $6.99. It's from Arnica. It's called the All, all Over Body Oil Hemp and Arnica Blend. It says it deeply hydrates um, and has benefits that help restore and renew skin. And this is in the scent Coconut Mint. Do I, I don't smell coconut or mint in this, first of all. Um, this smells like nothing, but that works for me because I did not want a scented body oil. I just wanted a nice body oil to apply on my skin at night because I only wear lotion when I'm going out. So I just like to use an oil at night before bed. And um, at first I was kind of apprehensive about the top that they chose to use and how it comes in like this large like m bottle with like this medicine dropper type of um, drop and squeeze type of um, utensil here. but it, this dropper uh, is quality. So it really does soak up the product. And see that? Yep. And you just squeeze it right out in your hand. So it's very, very easy to use. Um, and it is kind of on the thick side. It doesn't look thick as you're, you know, trying to get the product into the applicator. Um, or when you put it in your hand, but when you're applying it, it does feel, it's not like heavy in a sense where you feel like it's going to leave a film or it's going to just be a lot greasy, but it's not like one of those very light, smooth oils that you can just run right through. You're going to have to really, you know, press this product in, which I don't mind because it is a very great product. It does really deeply hydrate the skin. doesn't irritate my skin. doesn't make my skin itch or any of that. And the ingredients is, this is 100% um, organic. It has safflower seed oil, cotton seed oil, almond oil, olive oil, um, jojoba seed oil, coconut oil, uh, avocado oil, hemp oil, and Arnica Montana flower extract. Those are all the ingredients in this product. And I paid $6.99 for this. And I'm so, 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 so in love with it. If you are a person that's very big on using oils, like facial oils for your face or oils for your body or just lotions and under eye creams, TJ Maxx is the place for you to go. There is an array of products there. They're super, super, super affordable. You don't have to spend a ton of money. You can find the stuff for like less than six or $7. So I do really recommend that place for skincare stuff. Um, it is, I, I just love going there and it's right up the street from my home. Now that we are done talking about what I picked up from TJ Maxx, let's get into this Tory Lanez and the Megan the Stallion. So if you've been hiding under a rock and didn't know about the situation that had just occurred between the two, um, I think it was, I want to say several weeks ago that reportedly and allegedly Tory Lanez shot Megan the Stallion in the foot. 
Um, and when she did her live and came out talking about the incident, she said that she actually was shot in both feet and she was trying to spare him, especially with all that's been going on um, that we've seen in the media in regards to the Black Lives Matter movement and just this timid climate right now that it is for African-Americans and, you know, with police brutality, with racism and just a host of other things. She was trying to protect him um, and not knowing what could have happened in that moment if she just told everything that 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 happened that night in terms of being shot by him allegedly um and so on and so forth now first and foremost a lot of people were saying she should not press charges continue to keep your mouth shut and move on okay supposedly megan was paralyzed it could have struck that bullet could have struck a bad nerve this woman makes her living off of being an entertainer so just imagine at a very young age, your whole career is cut short and your whole lifestyle changes because you were paralyzed due to a friend that shot you in your feet. Black man shot you, a black woman in your feet. Me in that situation, I would have just been so shocked that somebody would have the audacity to do something like that to me. I don't even know how I would have you know, reacted in that type of situation. But I'm just curious to know, and I think I'm going to do a separate video where I go further into that, but I really want to know what you guys think about that. I want to know your thoughts. Let's chat in the comments of how you would react to that situation. What are your thoughts on everything? And, you know, people saying that he's trying to capitalize off of the situation with coming out with this album that he really didn't talk about the situation in and just not owning up to the mistake that he made. Should he be canceled? You're damn right. He should be canceled. And me as being a black woman, you know, I right is right is wrong is wrong. It, that's just what it is at the end of the day. What he did there was that should be the last thing you should think about doing. Um, you've endangered a life, lives, other people that was there. Um, you know, it's just it, he should be canceled. He should very well be canceled. And this will show you when you make careless decisions like this, what it can cost you. And that will make you think twice about doing some stuff like that again. So I really want to know what you guys think about the situation, you know, and what your interpretation and stuff about that is. And then I'll probably come back with another video. We can go more in depth about that. But thank you for joining. Um, please subscribe, turn on uh, post notifications by clicking the bell so you do not miss an upload or future episode of Iantha TV. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.